This is the Uplander Doghouse that we sell here at Dogs Unlimited. It's going to come just like this in two boxes. I'm going to go ahead and lay all this out. I like to make sure that I've got everything positioned just right and then I start building from there. So let's go ahead and get this thing assembled and we'll have ourselves a nice insulated doghouse. To get started, definitely read the instructions. They're very good and they'll go real well with this video you're about to see. Definitely going to want to use a cordless drill. It's going to make life a lot easier as opposed to a screwdriver. The board we're using in here, both on the side and the bottoms, is called FRP. It's a very durable, odor resistant board. It's great for a dog that can't dig at it, chew at it, anything like that. But it's going to be hard to get the screws through, so you may want to do a little pilot hole just through the FRP, not into the wood. You want that screw to come in and go in and grip that wood. So don't just, just do that little pile hole for a little short ways. That'll make your job a lot easier. On the inside, we're gonna use the flathead screws. one side. So we've gone ahead and put in all the screws in the top and the bottom pre-drilled holes, making sure that everything is squared up, everything's flush. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put in all the remaining flathead screws on the interior. finished putting in all the screws into the interior and now we're going to go to the exterior. We're going to go ahead and put the round headed screws out here on the exterior and that should make it just totally tight. It's going to be hard sometimes to get that screw in there. So what I do is I just do a little pilot hole with a Phillips head screwdriver. Simply put it in the hole, make sure everything's flush. 
put it in the hole and just tap it. Finished doing all the screws on the outside. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the floor in. Then we're gonna go ahead and put the top on. This is gonna be one heck of a great dog box for your dog. The floor, when you slide it in, is gonna rest on this lip right here. We got an FRP floor as well. That way the dog, when it's scratching, will never get through it. It's gonna be great. Slide it in. Put it totally up there. Boom. That's your dog's floor right there. Lid can go either way. You can do it where it's hinged from the front or hinged from the rear. Just depends upon what your particular setup is. We're gonna do it hinging from the front. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. You're gonna have a gap. Just uh, figure the distance there with your fingers. It's pretty easy to do. Make sure it's pushed up against it. Again, we're gonna go ahead and set our pilot holes with a screwdriver, hammer, We're going to use the round top screws for here. Excellent. Now we have the lid on. This is very important. The hinge is going to go on the right hand side when you lift up the lid. This part here with the two screws is going to go on the top. This part here is going to go on the outside. You're going to want to measure seven inches from the back. And go ahead and give yourself a little mark right there. So we're going to come off this mark that we made here. Pop ourselves a little pilot hole about an inch down. Perfect. Make sure that the angle here is on the outside so when it closes there's plenty of room. Make sure it can swing. You're going to want to measure from the base up seven inches. And you're going to mount this right here, right in the middle, that seven inch point. We're gonna go ahead and do the clip here. Keeps the lid closed. Go ahead and eyeball it. Go ahead and start us a hole. When you do this, you're going to want to make sure you're right up against the lip here so when it closes, it doesn't hit this. 
Excellent. I'm going to go ahead and close it. Eyeball this. Go ahead and put this on here. Kind of decide where you're going to want to put that. Go ahead and put yourself a little mark here. Excellent. Perfect. Like what you see here, subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to buy the Uplander Doghouse, just click on the buy button.